Retailers don't care how you look. They want you to make this mistake. Don't fall into their trap. Welcome to the Dad Bod. Today we're going to talk about pocket squares and ties, and more specifically, should they match? Whether you're new to men's fashion and you're looking for ways to look better, or you've heard this somewhere and you're trying to find out if it's actually true, you came to the right place. You can match them. If you're trying to elevate your style, this is a simple way to do it, and it was once the norm. But as you get more into men's fashion and you learn more about how different colors complement each other, you'll learn more reasons why you shouldn't match them these days. That being said, if you're wearing a matching tie and pocket square and somebody comes up to you and says something to you about it, just breathe in, breathe out. Determine whether or not they're trying to help you or belittle you. If they're being polite, be polite back. If they're trying to belittle you, summon the essence of Harry Hart and beat them with an umbrella. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, don't do that. We've all seen these dress shirt, tie, and pocket square combo sets. If you walk into most men's clothing stores, you're gonna see hundreds of them on the shelves. The intent is to give you a full upper body outfit in one package, make it easy to get and go. I strongly recommend that you avoid them if you can, for multiple reasons. The easiest is the sizes. It's probably not gonna fit you like you need. You could choose the neck size, but the sleeve size is a range, 34 to 35 inches, 35 to 36 inches. Well, which one is it? Is it gonna be an inch too short or is it gonna be an inch too long? Who knows, in the pre-packaged, so you can't even try it on. Is it gonna be a regular fit, a tailored fit, a slim fit? Is it gonna fit my height? Again, you need to try it on to find that out, and it's pre-packaged. If you're like me, above six foot tall, you probably need a 38, 39 for the sleeves, and these are nearly impossible to find. And when you do find them, you don't have many options. You're either gonna be limited on colors available, or the fit, or the price, I don't want to pay 40 or more dollars for this only to have to spend another $20 to get it tailored because it's too baggy around my waist and I'm a bigger guy and if it's baggy around my waist, how's it going to be on somebody with a little less center padding? The biggest reason you should avoid these is because the tie always matches the pocket square exactly. That's a men's fashion faux pas. The message it portrays is that you aren't really the type to dress nice regularly, or you may only have just the one tie in pocket square, or you let Walmart dress you. And there's nothing wrong with Walmart, but it's just not typically what I would think of when I think of professional attire. And just to note, I'm not trying to belittle anybody who matches their tie in pocket square. Maybe you're doing your best with what you have. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe nobody's ever told you to shake things up a bit. And that was me once. I spent years matching mine. I didn't know any better. I didn't have YouTube videos to help me learn back then. And I didn't have anybody in my childhood who taught me things like that. Instead, they taught me how to hold a flashlight perfectly still and how different hand soaps taste. Blah. Bad memories. Oh, you may have noticed that I haven't had any jokes in this video yet. I was gonna use a tie joke, but they're not funny. Let's face it, how many different color and design combinations are there for suits? You know, there's different shades of gray, different shades of blue, black, beige, chalk stripe, pinstripe, solid color. And then it's similar for dress shirts. It's basically different shades of about a half dozen colors. And that all depends on how many you have. But when you start playing around with ties and pocket squares, you take the, uh, you know, 20 or 30 different combinations that you have within your wardrobe and you turn it into hundreds. Matching your tie and pocket square tells people that you don't understand how to make your clothing stand out in ways that complementing colors and designs would. If you're ever in a situation where you can only afford one of each, go for a white pocket square like this. It works with basically everything. However, there are so many different designs and colors when it comes to pocket squares and neckties that you're really only limited by your imagination and your budget. It's a great way to introduce some of your personality into your outfits and to make it look like you have more outfits than you actually do. I don't know if you've noticed it, but it looks like I'm changing my outfits about every minute throughout this video, but really what I'm doing is only changing my tie and my pocket square. Everything else is the same. Whether it's a Superman tie that you got for your birthday, or a number one dad tie that you got for Father's Day, a tie that you just found at a store and loved, your favorite sports team colors, a US Navy tie to show my pride for my time in the service, my Hogwarts house colors, or even a tie that once belonged to a family member. Rock it out. And then find a pocket square that complements the colors or the design of the tie, and let's face it, there's gonna be thousands and thousands of options for ties, but there are millions of options for the pocket squares. It's a little bit easier to find a pocket square that complements the tie. Look at this one here. The tie is a darker gray, while the pocket square is a light blue with darker blue designs. The pocket square here actually is working with the dress shirt as opposed to the tie. 
The jacket's a gray with blue lines and the light blue shirt plays off of that. And then the pocket square just jumps it to a whole new level. And this one, the tie has blues and golds. The pocket square is a similar blue, so it pairs nicely with the tie and it makes the whole outfit just stand out. And this one, the man's wearing a red tie and a red pocket square, but you can see that the pocket square has black designs on it, which gives it a little bit more flair, more character. Plus, you have many ways to wear the pocket square. The presidential executive fold is simple to do, or you can do the single, the double, the triple peak, the puff fold. There are dozens of ways to make it look stylish and dapper. Or you could just stand in front of a mirror, play around, find something new, have fun with it. One issue that I do have with pocket squares is keeping them in place in my pocket while I move around throughout the day. Check out this video right here on something that I found to help keep your pocket square from falling in or out of your pocket and keeping it exactly as you want it. And I'll see you there.